with a camera. Starring Charles Bronson. I'm Mike Kovac, photographer. A deputy district attorney named Martin Denny called me in on a murder case. He wanted some pictures taken. Not of the killer or the victim, but of a witness he had in custody. I've been this close before, Mike. A crime, a witness, a trial all set. Then something always happens. I need you to see that it doesn't happen again. Mr. Denny, you're with the DA. You've got the whole police department to act as bodyguard. Now, why spend the taxpayers' money on me? I had them the last time, Mike, and at the last moment, the witness refused to testify. Somebody got to him. I never found out how. You would expect me to? If they try it again, yes. My witness, Eddie Wilson, has made a positive identification. A conviction means that we can get these racketeers who've been taking thousands from these small shop owners. Mike, this time they murdered an old man. I want Stacy in the chair. Where have you been keeping your witness? Well, I've got Eddie Wilson, his wife and daughter, hidden in a midtown hotel. They're under 24-hour guard, safe as the Golden Fort Knox. But so was my last witness. Well, Mr. Denny, if you're looking for a babysitter, you're overpaying, because I come pretty high. Look, Mike, you're a photographer. I want you to get pictures of anybody who comes within 10 feet of Eddie. Then if somebody tries to intimidate him, I'll know who it is. The police department has photographers, and they work cheaper. Mike, the police are so identifiable. Look, do this for me, will you? Stay as close to my witness as possible, no matter what he does. Remember, Eddie goes on the stand tomorrow morning. And with your help, we can pull the switch on a murderer. All right. And the last shot of Stacy in the chair will be on me. Be a big mob out front. This way, no sweat. What do you mean? What are you talking about? We're here. I'm... I'm sick. I, I tell you, I'm, I'm sick. I can't talk. You've got to. I tell you, I can't. All right, officers, take him back. Come on. Oh, yeah. what, what is it? What's wrong with Well, gentlemen, this is very unexpected. What's the I... matter with him? Well, you, you heard the same thing I did. My witness is sick. I'm sure that Judge Merrick will give us a continuance. Excuse me, please. Well, what is it? We have a right to know. How, Mike? How? How did they get to him? He wasn't alone for one single minute. No mail, no phone calls, no nothing. Mike, I could take an oath that there wasn't any possible way in which he could have known anything about the attempt on his life. Do you understand that? No way at all. Now, how did they reach him? Yeah, take a peek. Will you turn that light on, John? That answer your question? Okay, Mike, you did your job. Johnny Patch, the enforcer. And if we pick him up, his story will be that his neck is so he scratched it. Mike, I got 24 hours in which to show cause why my star witness shouldn't be released. And when he goes, there goes my case. Who is it? Mike Kovac, Mrs. Wilson. I want to talk to Ed. Ed isn't going to testify, Mr. Kovac. So why don't you leave us alone? Why don't you just let us go home? It's not up to me, Mrs. Wilson. Ed, can we talk to you? Don't do it, Ed. It's all right. Don't worry. I'm not going to testify. Ed, look, with Stacy convicted, he'll turn over his whole mob to us. 
Then there won't be anybody left to hurt you. You, your wife, or your daughter. You've got to testify. Just a minute, Mr. Denny. You've got to level with Ed. Have you told him the tent was made on his life? Well, I intended to. Ed, somebody tried to shoot you today outside the courtroom. He wasn't successful. The police caught him, and he's now in jail. Well, then why doesn't he testify? He won't talk because he's a hood, Ed. And the only thing they've got on him, he was carrying a gun, even though we know what he was there for. So because he didn't kill me means he isn't dangerous. A criminal can keep quiet, but a plain, ordinary citizen has to testify. Look, Ed, you positively identified Stacy. Now, he's the man we want, and he's the man we'll get if you talk in court. If I talk. It took me eight years to work up to where I've got a garage of my own. I put in nights, Sundays. Don't you think I'm entitled to a little peace, a little security? You think you'll have any real security knowing there's a murderer walking the streets just because you kept quiet? Well, if it was just me. What about old man Coleman? Wasn't he entitled to a little security? How will getting myself killed bring him back? Daddy. Susie. Susie, what are you doing out of bed? Oh, she misses her own bed. Ed, you gave me your word. She's so scared she's sick. And you want me to get up on that stand. Ed, we can't make up your mind for you. And we're not going to force you. Mr. Denny here now is leveled with you, so you level with us. Answer one question. You have a wife, a little girl, and a business. How did you get these things? I worked. Yeah, you worked. But you had a protected opportunity. The law gave you a chance. Now, that same law that protected you needs your help. Ask yourself, do you owe them that much or don't you? Mr. Kovac. What would you do? Tell me, if you were me, what would you do? I'd do just what you're going to do. Well, let me alone with her, will you? J just go. I, I've got to try and make her understand. Ed, I've got to leave Mike with you. Now, stay away from those windows. It'll take me about 24 hours to reopen this case, but I've got to keep you here to land. All right. Ed, there's no turning back this time. You know that, don't you? I know. Mike, if anything happens this time, they won't even let me run an elevator at City Hall. Well, he'll talk. Don't aim that thing at me. Come on, let's get set up. All in good time. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah, now come here. Here it is there. Can you make it? Of course. That little baby can kiss any coin in your pocket at a thousand yards. But she's got to be able to see the coin. It'll be dark. There should be shadows. That's him. That's what he'll look like against that curtain. Very nice. Very nice. Guarantee it. Shadow. All we need is a shadow. With only a few hours to go before Ed testified, we took no chances with the Wilson family. I didn't let them out of my sight. And Fuzzy found himself all alone outside in the dark, and it was very, very cold. Now, safely inside were his brothers and his sisters. They were warm and cozy because they listened to their mummy. Now Fuzzy meowed and he meowed and nobody heard him. 
And you know why? Because the door was closed. Now, it was so cold, Mr. Fuzzy didn't know what to do. I'd like to search through my broken arches. Sorry, orders. Okay, have I served the stuff now? Yeah, go ahead. I'll do it. I'll help you, Mrs. Wilson. Oh, thank you. Looks good, Ed. Come and sit down. I'm not hungry. You have to eat something. I'm going nuts around here. Police in every closet. And where there's no police, there's you. Tomorrow you'll be all through this. Will I? Do you think we can live like this the rest of our lives? Will they put a police officer in the house, a, a cop in my garage, someone to take little Susan to school? Eddie, please, don't work yourself up like this. I, I can't stand to see it. What's going to happen to us, Mike? Why don't you go in and talk to her? Go ahead, don't let her alone. I don't know what to say to her anymore. baby needs is a shadow. Eddie, please. I want you alive. You don't have to be a hero. Yes, I've got no choice. Haven't you? You made up your mind once and you changed it. I had to. And why? So you listen to all her talk about responsibility. What about your responsibility to the baby and to me? Bess, we'll go away. Another city. Where could we go where they wouldn't find us? Honey, please help me. Oh, she's so hot. There's no breath of air in here. Open the window, Eddie. We're not supposed to. Open it. That's him. the ambulance and then call Mr. Denny. I don't know who pulled the trigger, Mr. Kovac, but you murdered my husband. Well, he's got a chance, Mrs. Wilson. We're doing everything we can to save his life. Why? So they can try it again. Can I see him, please? He's still unconscious. I just want to see him. What do we do now, Mike? I've got to talk to you. All right, I've got to get back to the office first. It was a mistake, Mike. The whole thing was a mistake. Mr. Denny, you had a job to do. You were trying to do it. But I'm responsible, too. I talked to Eddie Wilson into changing his mind. I had no business getting you mixed up in it. Just the same, I'm responsible. And I've got to do something about it. Now, look, Mike... Now, I have an idea that I want to try, but I need your help. No more, Mike. I promised protection I didn't deliver. I lost a witness, lost a case, left the city open to suit. If I had any guts, I'd quit before they make me. Mr. Denny, if you think you're through, then you've got nothing to lose. They can't fire you twice. Yes? Judge Merrick. Yes, sir. Well, I do think that postponement is in order. No, sir, I can't say how long. The doctors are hopeful, but indefinite. Yes, sir. What was that? 
They ask the judge to dismiss the case? If Eddie Wilson dies, we've lost our witness, and we have to turn the murderer loose. Well, he hasn't, and they can't. I suppose the next call will be from the district attorney asking for my resignation. Then don't answer it, Mr. Denny. You've got to hold on to your authority as long as you can. Don't answer it. I've got to. Hello. Yes. Yes, thanks, Lieutenant. We'll come right away. There's Lieutenant Manis over at the hospital. Eddie Wilson just regained consciousness. Wants to talk to you. Mike. Yeah, right here. Mike, I just wanted you to know I'm not blaming you. You just take it easy. My, my wife told me what she said to you. She didn't mean it. She's sorry. It's okay. Can you answer one question? I'll try. When you were at the window, did you see anyone or anything at all? Just a flash building across the way. What happens now, Mike, to Stacy? You'll forget it and get well. You know, Mike, my first job as a private citizen is going to be to kill Stacy with my own hands. Well, they haven't bounced you yet. Now, you listen to me. You've got informants, and you've got stoolies, sources, right? Can you get them to leak a story? What story? You spread the word you've got another eyewitness and a picture of the guy that shot Eddie. And you make sure that Johnny Patch gets that word. What? I'm a photographer. I was there. I was supposed to take pictures. Now, how do they know that I didn't get a telephoto shot of the guy in the window? How do they know what I saw? All right, so I spread the story, Mike. So what? Then you follow it up by hinting that you're building up a new case based on new evidence, and you're going to present it in court when the trial reopens. <laughs> you're crazy, Mike. We've got nothing. What do you mean, we got nothing? We've got bait. Johnny Patch is going to want to check out that rumor. He's going to want to know if I have really got a picture or if I really saw something. They'll kill you, Mike. They'll try. No, I'm not buying. What do you mean you're not buying? You have to buy. If you don't spread that story, I will. That'll leave you out on a limb. All right, Mike. We'll set the trap. <laughs> Looks like I hired myself quite a babysitter. Yeah, well, let's go diaper up the killer. The DA's office put out the rumor about new evidence. The papers played it big about me and a brand new picture that I really didn't have. I was setting myself up as a pigeon. I waited in my apartment to see who'd take the first shot. He's still up there. You sure? Jerry's covering the bank. If he'd have left, he'd have tipped me. Is he alone? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? It's an apartment house. People move in and out. That's what I mean. I don't know. Look, I don't like this. This might be a trap of some kind. No, we've got to find out if this guy saw anything from the hotel window. We could have, you know. Yeah, in my picture. That's right, let's go. No, no, stay awake. If you see something above, bothers you, just lean on the horn hard. Right. Now, make yourself at home. Thanks. What's in there? It's a dark room. See if we're alone. Hey, you'll spoil some prints. You open that door. So he'll spoil some prints. Nobody in there. All right, check now. Bedroom, empty. I've got a three-year lease on this place. So if you're thinking about moving in, hold your breath. Now, what do you two apes want? There's a rumor going around that says you saw something. Maybe you got a picture, too. Yeah, I've got lots of pictures. 
that if you're looking for pictures of pin-up girls, you're out of luck. Now we talk polite, you talk polite. Is that plain? Okay, let's see what you have. Nothing doing. You grab it and knock me off, huh? Now why would we do that? We just want to see the picture. And prevent me from testifying about it. You know, you two look pretty good on that picture. You with your finger on the trigger and you standing right beside him. You know, it blew up great about this big, suitable for hanging on a wall. You know, I don't believe you, but where is it? Guess. <coughs> Still polite, you understand? We ask you a question, you give an answer. Should be worth a bundle of money for you to see it. Name it. It ties you in with the murder of Coleman. How? Why would you want to knock off a witness if Stacy didn't kill him? So Stacy killed the old man, so he's involved. That's got nothing to do with me. Now I'm hired to do a job. I shoot, I take my money, I go away. This time, I understand you've got my picture. Now this I want to see. And I'm going to if I have to kill you a little bit at a time. No picture. You kill me and you don't learn a thing. Kovac, what do you want? A dollar. What? Huh? One dollar. With a signed statement on the back saying that Stacy killed Coleman. You must be nuts. You know how long I'd last if I did that? How long do you think you'll last after I testify in court that I took that picture? Let me have him. Don't be a sucker. Santos will kill you. Then you'll both die. All right, Patch, you dealt the cards. Now you play him. I want that picture. I want that picture. I'll kill you for that picture. All right, get your hands up. Come on, Mike. We got it. We got it. Come on, you. Get out of here. Boy, Mike, it was pretty close. You all right? Yeah. All right, take him downtown. Hi, Eddie. Oh, hi. Hey, you look like you should have zigged when you zagged. Yeah. Santos was a pro, but Mike here made me swear not to interfere. We got what we wanted. Johnny Patch is dead, Santos is cracking, and Stacy is singing to save his hide. And incidentally, Mike, to save my job. You know, life sure tastes good when you think you've lost it and then get it back again. If you ever need a favor... Yeah, I need a favor. Well, name it. My car needs work. Is that all? Well, I'm your mechanic. <laughs>